do. <laughs> What's up, guys? Jay Smith coming at you from above and below. I don't know if y'all have seen my previous story, which explains pretty much uh, from the beginning to now as far as my story goes with substance abuse and etc. But uh, today I wanted to talk a lot about um, the way that that uh, heroin has changed as far as fentanyl and also Xanax use <clears throat> and, and how that's changed and medicated assisted treatment which would be methadone, buprenorphine, suboxone, um, and things of that nature. But uh, so I uh, I started uh, I became an IV drug user in between two thousand eight and two thousand nine. Um, and up in Seattle. So I was actually living in, in Kent. Kent, hold on. I, I was living in Kent, Washington. And, um, you know, I had been an, an opiate user for years uh, since, you know, 1999. <laughs> so. I had lots of experience with opiates as far as the pills um, and e even heroin, uh, freebasing and all that. But uh, so I started I started shooting uh, in like 2008 in Seattle, Kent, Washington, to be exact. And uh, and I <laughs> the hair, it was garbage hair. It was. Uh, Back then, you know, it was uh, forty dollars for a gram, and when I had a, you know, come down to Texas and, and was doing real heroin back in the, you know, two thousand and fifteen and all that, you know, it was ten dollars a point. Uh, I, I I know prices are ridiculous cheap, but uh, back when I was doing it, the shit was good and it cost money. Uh, now it's just cut full of bullshit and you can, you can get grams for twenty fifty dollars I don't know some of you might get them for seven <laughs> but uh so the heroin out there was just trash it was uh forty dollars a gram and and uh in order to to put you know i mean we were taking gram shots no pro i mean no problem and we would have to put them in like three cc you know uh 22 gauge needles and uh you know shit we were putting those in our veins <laughs> it was it was crazy so um but then i you know migrated across the united states and found out that that wasn't real heroin um and the heroin was heroin was uh, a good drug. I mean, I, I mean, I, I it felt good. I mean, the consequences not good, but it was a euphoric feeling. Um, it made me feel great. Uh, I, I, re I remember it, it would start usually from my heart, a warm feeling, and just spread throughout my whole body and. You know, it was a just straight euphoric feeling. Um, then, so towards the end, um, I, I had a I had a ex partner that uh, had cancer, and uh, she had fentanyl patches. Um, you know, we were still doing everything under the sun: uh, meth, heroin. Mm. Uh, we were at the methadone clinic, uh, Xanax. Uh, she also got Dilaudids, uh and Narcos. But we would break those fentanyl patches open and lick them. And, you know, I didn't really see much. You know, I, 
I heard that, you know, fentanyl was the strongest opiate and, you know, I, I would lick these patches and uh, sometimes I would sort of get off on them and, but I, but I just wound up crashing. So, so I did my research. I, I, you know, did some internet research and I found that it is definitely the most potent um, opiate but it, it, its euphoria is not like, like uh, pure heroin. It's nothing like that. So that is why you might do some fentanyl. And, or I'm just going to stick to my experience. Um, I, I cleaned up in 2019. Um, I say cleaned up with, I, I stopped doing, uh, dope. I stopped doing narcotics and was totally abstinent for a little, a little while, you know, uh, I was helping my, uh, my, my old best friends, the people I used to run with and the people that I would get high with every day. And you know, they're continuing to get high, selling dope in front of me, using dope in front of me, and uh, that's why it's important to do outreach as a team. I was actually doing a solo, but uh, I, not like if I had a partner with me, it wouldn't have stopped me from going back and scoring by myself. So I, I, I decided to uh, shit you know, split a dime with someone, or excuse me, split a 20 with someone, so I just muscled it, which means you stick it in your muscle and just inject it. It's not as not as dangerous as uh, I'm doing it, um, but it doesn't hit you quite as fast, but you get the full dose, and uh, of course, you know, wind up getting addicted. That's just the way it goes. There is no way around it. <laughs> Trust me. Um, and once I really caught that habit and started doing, you know, it, a gram plus a day um, and, and scoring from different people. Um, and this was shit. 2000, 2021, which was not long ago, just a couple of years ago. And I, 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 I had been off for, you know, two plus years before that. And the heroin had changed a little drastically, drastically. Um, either I didn't feel the heroin, it was just straight bullshit, um, you know, or, uh, you know, I would, from that. I would get lit and act a fool on it, <laughs> but, uh, you know, to be honest with you, I, I, I was uh, having to get Narcan, I was using every day, you know, it, it, it became to where I was using every day, and towards the end, I was having to get Narcan like four or five times a week, um, yeah. Four or five times a week, I was having to get Narcan. I was overdosing. Um, and, you know, with my 11 plus year uh, experience with all the drug use and just going hard for, for 11 plus years, I might have had a 10 overdoses. But, you know, I was overdosing every other day on this on this uh, fentanyl and uh, the dope was shit and if I got some that was good I did a little too much BAM I was out and getting Narcan um, luckily there was somebody there to Narcan me um, if not I'm sure I wouldn't be here making this video um, I I want to go back in time to when people would would talk about you know because we're here in Texas we're in Austin Texas where people would say we got that China white we got the China white 
which I, I, I even knew back then that that was bullshit. There ain't no China White down here. There ain't no China White even close to Texas, okay? So, it, but it was powder, you know? It was a powder. It was like a gray powder. And uh, I, one time I did some, one of the more than several times I did some, I, uh, I overdosed. Um, and I almost died. I, uh, I, I, I overdosed, almost died. They had to Narcan me four times, I believe. And I lost my hearing for 72 hours. It was a nightmare. Um, that was fentanyl. That, that was pure fentanyl. And now I'm going and uh, doing outreach and, and that's the same type of stuff that, that I did that day that I overdosed. Um, but now I'm knowing saying it's China White. I mean, everybody knows it's straight fentanyl. Um, and I was also a, a huge Xanax advocate. I was a big, <laughs> a big Xanax user. Uh, to one point I was doing six to, to ten bars a day on average, which would be like, shit, 20 milligrams of uh, benzos, of Xanax, with my heroin, methadone, ice, and all the other stuff. So that, I thought I was doing something, um, I, I was at the methadone clinic for like eight years, and during that eight years, I think for about 11 months to a year, I was actually not using heroin. And uh, I started taking Xanax, Xanny bars with, with my methadone. <clears throat> and I thought, wow, well, shit, I feel, this is cool. This feels good, you know? I mean, I'm not even having to shoot up or anything. This is, this is great. Uh, I'm not shooting up. I'm not banging and not getting abscesses and... It's a lot cheaper, um, but I didn't know what I was doing. Uh, the withdrawal will kill you if you're not uh, if you're not under a medical detox. And nowadays, you're almost certainly getting fake bars. Uh, they're pressed, and they're going to be a lot of times uh, pressed with fentanyl which is killing a lot of kids. Um, you're, you're getting fake bars unless you're getting them from the pharmacy or the person. <laughs> I mean, you're, you're getting fake bars. And a lot of times they're going to be pressed with fentanyl, which is going to kill you or it's going to kill that 13, 12-year-old. That wants, you know what I mean? So... That's the purpose of me making this video was to tell you all my experience of the way that the, the heroin has changed. Um, the heroin is not heroin anymore. And Xanax is extremely dangerous. It, it will, the withdrawal, if you're taking them daily for a long time, you will die trying to come off of them if you're not under medical detox. And today, in today's society, you're not getting real Xanax. You're not getting it. Unless you're getting it straight from the pharmacy, they're going to be pressed. Um, and it's killing a lot of people. So I'm serving my community, my friends, and uh, I wind up, I wind up relapsing. I wind up uh, splitting, splitting twenties, and you know, doing dimes, and you know, that very quickly moved into doing a gram to two grams a day. Um, lots of overdosing, uh, and at the time, I had a very good job. I had a good job. I had a gr I, I have a good job. I had, I had a fa I have a family. Um, 
was fixing to buy a home, which I have now, um, I had all my goals that I was about to reach. And dagnamit, I got strung out on heroin, fentanyl, to, 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 and uh, I, I had to look at myself in the mirror and I, I said, all of this is going to go straight out the window. I'm gonna lose my family, my job, everything I've earned through self-care, uh, it's all going away. And I'm gonna wind up right back where I started before I decided to clean up. And so with me having so much going on, and working full time and, you know, having two kids and, and a wife and I, uh, you know, have had experience with methadone. Uh, I've had experience with Suboxone and um, Subutex. I was on Subutex before they even had Suboxone. So I knew I, I, I made the the decision to not go to treatment at this time. Um, I have been lots. a lot of times. I had a lot going on at the time. And uh, I had friends that were connecting people with medicated assisted treatment, the buprenorphine program here in Austin, Texas. And I decided to get on buprenorphine. Um, and it saved my life. It was a, it's amazing. Um, I also tried, you know, doing dope on the weekends and then trying to take kratom during the week. And then, but the kratom was not strong enough to hold the heroin withdrawals. So I got on the buprenorphine program and it, I stopped doing the dope. Um, the reason I decided to do buprenorphine instead of methadone is because, um, for me, I didn't want to go to the methadone clinic every morning. And when I was taking methadone, I wasn't using it correctly. I wasn't doing it properly. I was also using other drugs. And um, so my experience with methadone wasn't great. I did not succeed. I, I believe it kept me out of prison, but I was manipulating the methadone uh, program by just staying right around like, you know, 70 milligrams so I could still fill the heroin but not be so sick I had to go rob somebody the next day. And... Uh, me being a part of society now and a taxpayer that has a job and a family and all that, I uh, decided that I was going to go ahead and just get a script, a prescription of buprenorphine from the doctor. And it's been, it's been great. It helped, helped me so much and uh, was able to stop using like that because I had the desire to. Um, and this is my relapse, you know, that I'm talking about. Um, while I was full force into like helping people um, with substance abuse issues, doing outreach, um, and just climbing the ladder as far as my goals went, I had a relapse during that. And I got on the buprenorphine program, and here I am today, and we moving forward quick. So uh, contact us if you know anyone who is struggling in your area, and we'd love to get you connected. So that was the purpose of me making today's video. If you have any questions, please put them in the comment. Uh, if you or someone that you know knows someone who is struggling, please reach out to us. 
so that we can connect you with the resources in your area to get help. Uh, and love you guys and uh, continue your self care and don't get down on yourself. You decide that today's the day that you want to throw in the towel and stop being miserable and start being successful in life and living your dream. Power to you. Let us know. Hit us up in the comments above and below. Love you.